Wonderful, wonderful. It's another beautiful Tuesday. I believe that God has kept you well. God has watched over you. Every Tuesday we call it Terrific. Terrific Tuesday. Yes, every Tuesday we sit on this couch, me and my wife, me and my friend, and my partner in Christ, and my partner in Christ, in crime, to discuss this thing called... This thing called... We marriage. always believe that marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. Only you work it. And today we are here to help you. Work your very own. Karibu sana. Those Welcome. who are watching us on Sawa TV, Karibu ni sana, 0727438728. Is the number to send your text again 0727 438 is the number to send your text and your comment. And I'm excited because my partner just looks like me mm -hmm. and me like her. Those who are watching us on <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Welcome. Yes. Karibuni Sana, it's always a pleasure to have you around. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's because of your beautiful selves that. This thing called marriage is this thing called marriage. Yeah. So welcome. Karibu sana. Mm -hmm. And so you can get us on YouTube. Yeah, on Revby and uh, Revby. Revby Rev Akama. Uh -huh. And also on Juliet Bernard Akama. Mm -hmm. And Soa TV KE. Mm -hmm. And also on uh, Soa TV itself. Yes. Yeah. And also on every other platform you can. Please make sure you are part of this great work and God bless you. Karibu ni sana. I yeah, hope you're watching at home with your spouse, with your husband, your wife, a friend, and then you're going ready to get blessed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Karibu ni sana. We are so excited. And today, we're having a very, very wonderful topic. I That's say right. it again. Very, very beautiful topic. This topic, I don't think we can, we should do it only once mm. because uh, it has part one and part two. Mm -hmm. But we'll start with part one. Today, mm -hmm. We are discussing on this is an inappropriate friendship to a married person. Mm -hmm. This is an inappropriate friendship to a married person. Mm -hmm. That is to mean there are some friendships that are inappropriate. Yes. Yes. So many, many a times we hear um, couples complain that mm -hmm. I don't like your friendship. Yes. I don't like your relationship with so and so. So um, that triggered, per se, mm -hmm. this uh, topic in a way that, what kind of friendship is that? Yes. What kind of relationship is that mm -hmm. that is inappropriate? Yes. Like to break it down. Be because yeah. many men, many women will protect that friendship and say, we are just friends. Yes. What is it? I'm married to you. I come home to you. But see, at the end of the day, that is not the satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. There can be a friendship that is not good. Okay, there uh -huh. can be a relationship that is not good to that marriage. I have come to realize, and I stand to be corrected, I've come to realize that women, especially married women, yeah. have an issue with their husbands having an opposite sex as a friend. Mm -hmm. Most women don't take it. Yeah. Why? Me, I would secure. say, yeah, uh, personally, I would say that uh, is an insecurity. Mm -hmm. And you know, insecurities are triggered. Okay. Okay. Probably there is a friendship that was that you thought was a good friendship, and it turned out to be what? To be bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Between your husband and a former friend, or yeah. something, or yes. maybe a former relationship. All that. Mm -hmm. So insecurities for me are triggered. Mm -hmm. But also that you shouldn't. Your husband can't just have male friends, <laughs> male colleagues. Yes, there will be yeah. women also. Yeah, they'll definitely be colleagues that are female and they'll definitely be friends that are female now <laughs> today is when now we are going to put a barrier to what kind of friendship is friendship me i can be very honest me i'm talking to myself <laughs> me my wife can't have a male friend i can't have so meaning even <laughs> i don't have <laughs> at least a male friend you are insecure yes yes <laughs> What do you want to do with my wife? My wife cannot have a male friend. I am the only male friend. Okay, pastor's wives, what do you do with 80% washirikas who are female and they all want to come and see papa, not you? No, don't have a that, is, that is, that is, that is Akuna. ministry. You're going out with a friend. You're going to... Can you imagine? No, no. A church of 1,000, give it 80%, mm -hmm. okay? We're talking about uh, 800. Yes. 
are women. I love you, your husband is there like a bean. No. You want to tell me? You new ministry. Eh? That is God the work of the Lord. How is he? I was Shirika. Why am I being a friend? As in Rafiki. That's why Ungo then don't nishike. For how 800? You want to tell me all of them are genuine? No. I agree no. with you. They are not genuine. Eh. But you see, all these 800 eh. are not friends. Eh. They are members. Where are we are become family? We are, live alone friendship. Eh. We are talking about friends. Eh. And you know, your wife has eh. a male friend. They are there. They are those who have. It also depends. Eh? Men, talk to me. Mm -hmm. Would you be comfortable with eh. your wife having a male friend? Yeah. No. It also depends. Eh? With wametokambali kiasi gani bali wapi kuna wengine walizaliwa friends like Male. walikuwa majirani when they were growing up they were schoolmates when yes. they were growing up Ilisha so even uko. before you came into the life of this woman she was friends with that man no 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 <laughs> me i'm starting by this yeah your wife should not have male friends eh. yes <laughs> no okay what about us but we useme usque pass your lap ah ah even husbands, if it is wives, or even husbands, do what should not have male female friends. What female? What is Kani, Kani wa mama pekendi atu juezi. Mama no nyonge. Akuna unyonge. Mama no. Women are always weak. Kuna atu nyonge kama wanaume. When you shikata uh -uh. na wama beste, ma beste zama bibizao. Women are always weak. Akuna. Bible no calls them weaker vessels. No. If there is anyone to be trusted between a woman and a man, is a man. Is a woman. Is you see how many men have slept with their own sister-in-laws. No, no, no. Those are those are that one. relationship. I'm talking about friends. Mm -hmm. Rafiki, mm -hmm. as in, no. Let's go to the point number one. Me, we are starting with that. Me, I cannot allow my wife to have a male friend. Me too. I will start not allowing you to have female friends. What are you doing? I don't even have one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if at all it applies to me now as a rule, even that application applies. To you. Let's be honest here, men. Please, I'm waiting for your text. Niongeleshe to. Will you be comfortable with your wife, your wife having a male friend? Mm. And most of the time, that male friend is having marital issues. Mm -hmm. The Bibiago is the comfort. Nabonago is the comfort. All right. So, what, that was just a by the way. Yeah. So, don't try to make my wife your friend. It mm. will not happen. <laughs> so, they are what we call inappropriate friendships. Yes. To, to a, a married, married person. person. <laughs> Whether a man or, or a woman. woman. So, one of them is when there's an emotional reliance or attachment. Yeah. Emotional what? Reliance. Attachment, uh, dependency, or dependency. You find that as a explain. Well, okay, well, uh, let's start from there. You see, eh, like um, when you have not seen her, you call her, <laughs> or when he has not, uh, she has not seen you, she calls you, and you're just friends. Okay, I missed you. I just was looking for you today. You didn't come to the office. Emotional. Okay, and uh -huh. um, this is what I'm going through. Uh, Yeni, you have now crossed the boundary of workmates. You are now friends with. An additional uh, package, package of downpouring emotions. We are kwa mashida kwa marriage, and we are kwa na mashida kwa marriage. Munashia, we are na mashida zado, munashia evil. Now, the, the, the friendship has now grown to now there is an emotional attachment until to the point that you know that this is the only person I talk to that understands me. It's wrong. Yes. You should not get to a point whereby your emotional reliance, that, that if you see this person, that's when you want to go lean on him mm. or lean on her, you feel like this one will understand me. When it gets to that, it's inappropriate. Kabisa. You should not have an emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. You know? You should never and most most women use that as a bait for what to get um, people's husbands hey, thank you husbands are the culprit no hey. women use that as bait yes yes emotional mm -hmm. you talk to your husband uh, Leave people's husbands alone. <laughs> Don't get attached to a married man. Yeah. Yes, women, stay on your yeah. lane. And that is where now eh, we call um, emotional cheating yes. comes from. Mm -hmm. Because now it started off as a relay, as, as, as a friendship. A okay, sharing. Maybe colleagues, even. This is no, no, yeah. Colleagues in the office that now grew to exchange notes. You're exchanging concerns. You're exchanging experiences. You're exchanging what you're going through. Then all of a sudden, you don't, you, you're no, you've detached from your wife or from your husband emotionally because you have another 
a relationship going, yes. an emotional relationship mm -hmm. going. That very soon, you know, you going, become sexual. The, yes. I, 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 I was about to say it in a bad way, but <laughs> when you're already connected emotionally, That's remove, the next removing clothes will be... Ah, you remove pants. Snapping. You throw pants. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be just a snap of the finger. What do you do with now we're talking about best couples? Uh -huh. Best couples have a, have a benefits. Okay. No, for example, you find mm -hmm. this man, this lady uh, confides in the man who was their best man. That is wrong. That's what I was saying. Best couple as it is. And here in Sound of Abanas, we especially advocate for a couple. When mm -hmm. you're having a wedding, it has to be husband and wife. And wife. So there's no way wife can now start relying on the best couple man. What is it? Why are you why are you putting your best Matter of fact, you should be running to the woman more than the husband. So it if there is a challenge in marriage and there is a best couple, mm -hmm. they come as a best couple, not as best singular. Okay? It mm -hmm. shouldn't be like like so. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Absolutely. Now, number two thing. That is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Number one is you should not have any emotional attachment. Independency. In de in de uh, dependency. Uh -huh. uh, uh, um, you feel emotionally you are... Reliant. Uh, you're reliant. Uh -huh. You know, you have, have, have this connection with this, my boss. Yeah. You're so connected. You're emotionally attached. Mm. You know, even it's like our spirits connect. Where, 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 <laughs> number two, <laughs> Kaka, when I, I know when he's not okay, yeah, I, when he comes to the office, just today, I just felt that my boss is not okay, where, no, where? Victor was, Counselor. Just, I just felt that Victor was going to, and when I asked him, I probed, Imagine. he told me, come back, Kibok. <laughs> <laughs> number two, inappropriate, Friendship. friendship in to a married person. That's right. Is late night outs. Uh -huh. Whether in the office or in the restaurant. Uh -huh. late, late night. Late night. Uh -huh. Late night. Outing. Simu. Uh -huh. Late night outs. We are talking about physically present together. Muko muko ba. Kwa office. Tell me to go office. At a church. At your office. Now you see, you convince yourself that this is an office setup. Una jidanganya. Mm -hmm. Unelewa, it's, not, it's an office set up. This not, what could we be doing in the office? Eh? Why are you not going home? Go home. Yes. Office ended at, at 5. Yes, now. 8.30. Yeah. 9. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm just here with Linda, mm -hmm. my workmate. Mm -hmm. That is how things start. Mm -hmm. When there is a lot of... You find... Even, like for me, I'm against these things where you find a company is paying for the colleagues to go to Mombasa. It's called what? And their parties. Yeah, well, daddy doesn't like those. You talk to when him. you're married, there's no end your party. Apana, if it's end your go with your spouse. Apana, ni akampuni. So, zile zile zinafanya nga zifanya nini? Ki unafanya ni, the company should do it until 5 p.m. This is what we call team building. Eh? Team building that goes for even three days in, uh, in Naivasha. We have an issue with those kind of things. I and know. I know. Well, when, because that's team building. You start building children yeah. here. Yeah. No, that's when cheating begins. Yeah. I call that team building. Yeah. I team three days. So what happens? What are you building in three days? If you're married, you say you won't go. You I mean, I'm married, I can't come. You have to be there. You have to be there. It's part of work. It's team building. You're being built as an organization together. So you can't say, I'm not coming. It's not fun. It's work. There's fun. There's time you're given to go and drink yeah. and party. There is fun part of it, but majorly the team building is usually part of it. Then you see who you, you exchange rooms. <laughs> there's one time we went yes. somewhere. You remember? Yes. There's one time we went somewhere. They were having team building. Uh -huh. It happened that we were in the same hotel. Uh -huh. We saw a woman crisscross. At two. At two. Mm -hmm. She was crisscrossing to a man's room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were doing team building. Yeah. So they crossed to the other room to team build. Imagine. What kind of team building is that? <laughs> And we were so so shocked. Those ones of guy. These things kumbe they are true. Imagine the reality. Team building for three days. Yeah. Uh, office no. trips. No. That is whereby if someone was admiring you, even as a Christian woman, you may be falling falling into a trap. Definitely. Yes. For me. Yeah. I tell you, man, no. <laughs> How you're going out for this other, this other thing they call uh, end your party. End your party. End your party. At least is is just a day. Sometimes it goes until midnight, mm. one. Mm. And there's this lady to call Florence, who has been, has been, I'm your husband. I, so today I'm with your husband. You can even drag your husband. Yeah, I'm telling you. Actually, my name is Kakwako. 
may have, have principles. Do you know what? Yeah. Even your bosses will respect your principles. Uh -huh, they Me, can. I don't stay out late. Yeah. Me, I don't stay. Or even if you have to go, talk to your spouse. Come pick me this time. Mm. If you can nine, come for me. Mm -hmm. Because of what? They are Safety. those who do that. Yeah. They are those who do that. But they are those now who take advantage. Yes. Then you find you're, you're all over dancing. And the dances are not, are not Mugidi. No. You know, that's, you're dancing some very serious... Uh, what do you call it? Uh -huh. Very funny. Zilizopendo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Zilizopendo as yes, go, go. Late night out. Yeah. It's a sign that this friendship is not going well. Either in the office. Mm -hmm. Or somewhere secluded, the restaurants, restaurant. hotels, somewhere not nice. That you're going now, you know, uh, you know, she was just not feeling okay. So I had just to be there for her and we were in the office, she was just venting. Number three, oh, yes, yeah. wrong. Number three mm -hmm. is what we call flatting. When there's an evidence of flat, matter of fact, there's not, not an evidence, flatting. When you start now flatting with a woman or a man, mm -hmm. it's inappropriate. Yeah. I said, wow, today you came, you are looking hot. Wow, I wish I touched you. Mm. Those are inappropriate. Yes. And mostly those are with men. Right? Uh, yes. What do you mean? I mean that flirting is wrong, absolutely. When you start flirting with someone, it means you've started seeing them beyond uh, the good. Okay? Mm -hmm. You've started seeing something beyond. And, and the only person that you should flirt with is your wife. Mm -hmm. the, your husband is the only person that you should flirt with. So when a friendship has gone to the extent of flirting, this one again also happens a lot in the office setup. Okay? That friendship is no longer a friendship. Yes. Yeah? Something is cooking. Yes, yeah, something is cooking. And either without your knowledge or with your knowledge, you are about to enter into trouble with that person that you're flirting with. It's not bad to appreciate. Because see, there's a thin line between appreciation and flirting. But even you, you know when now this one has begun to be flirting. In the manner that it is coming out, it's, you don't want your wife to know. Uh, 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 and you don't some, want your husband to see. And there are people, yeah. when it comes to flirting, eh, the, the, is, there, is there a flirting joke? Yes, it's, they are there, but they are wrong. They shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Flirting jokes. Yeah. That I wish I was the one today having with you, mm, sleeping yeah. with you tonight. Yes. Those are bad. That's not bad. even a joke. That is too deep. Yeah, people do it. Yes, they do. And you see, there are people who will be on phone flirting, flirting, mm -hmm. flirting. Yeah. And the person you're flirting with is a married man. Yeah. He's a married woman. Mm -hmm. You people are cheating on your spouses. Yeah, it's it's becoming emotional cheating, which is wrong. Very wrong. Yeah. It should not be there. Uh -huh. And most of the time. This thing happens, but I, I wouldn't say it for men only. Mm. It happens, it, 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 cut, it cuts it across. Kabisa. And you see nowadays, I've come to realize, yeah. many women are, 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 very, are very intentional. Uh -huh. Some women are very intentional. Yeah. They know this is my boss, this is my, uh, my MD, this is my supervisor. Mm. Let me try and see if this man can, you know, lighten up on me. Yeah. You see? Uh -huh. So I say, hey, today I like the way uh, you handle the meeting. Mm. I can see you're so wise. Wow. Mm. Oh, what a privilege to be, ma to be married to a wise man like you. And you who is innocent says thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. So he goes to the next thing. The next thing. I loved your suit. Where did you buy it from? I'd like to buy for your birthday. So it starts small, 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 small. Then now it starts, it gets intense. Uh, we have and, and why he's saying that it is a snare mostly that gets our women have and they are, they become intentional on it because men are people who appreciate who like their Appre ego yeah. being pampered mm -hmm. so where they are being clapped at they go there mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. wherever you're being told that your your suit was sharp your your presentation was on point you're very wise you eh, and all that that's where now that kind of a man wants to be forgetting that there are some clappings that are not claps mm -hmm. there are some clappings that are a snare true okay so Flirting will not absolutely start dirty. The one that starts dirty is weird. Mm -hmm. It will start like a small appreciation, small appreciation. Before you knew it, you know it, you're already trapped mm -hmm. into the into the trap of entertaining. You want to hear what he has to say today, what she has to say today. And the funny thing is, as a couple, if you're caught, the way the defense comes, we are just friends. Akura, we are talking. Just no, no. What should make you angry here? We are just friends. Friends with such kind of a talk, friends with such kind of a flat, then it goes to an extent because now you know it is wrong, you start deleting. 
Whatever you are not comfortable no, for your wife. Dis 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 yeah. Disappearing messages. Yeah, disappearing <laughs> messages. Whatever you are not comfortable with your wife or, or husband, husband to no, see. Yes. Already your conscience tells you that it is wrong. It is wrong. So you yourself should know already you are in a bad trap. I, I wonder why they came up with disappearing messages. Someone said, eh, uh. I saw it on social media. And that person said uh, that someone was asking, there are people who are new ma. Okay, so that person was asking, what are those people that are talking about uh, about uh, disappearing messages? Yeah. This one said, eh, the, the one responded to them and he says, is when you're talking to someone's husband and you don't want the, the wife to know or the, has, the, the, the evidence to be found. To be found. Because the disappearing messages disappear on both sides. Both sides? Yes, it disappears on your side and it disappears on the other person's side. And nowadays, people are using disappearing messages. It is there in Instagram. Because I think it disappears, it is, it disappears after 30 seconds. It, after the, it, it depends with the way you've timed it. Oh. Yeah, it so depends with the way you've timed it. Those that when you open like this and they give you a few minutes you read, then they disappear. Why, why, why are you using disappearing messages? You're not innocent. You, 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 you are creepy. Yeah, and it disappears on your side. So there's no evidence. Disappearing messages, they can't even be found by WhatsApp itself, the company. They, they are gone. Mm. Completely gone. They disappear like that. So there's no evidence of what you did. Where? <laughs> so that's, that's the generation we are in right now. That absolutely should tell you when, if you see your husband has disappearing No, WhatsApp not messages. husband, not husband. And Instagram, Facebook, I don't know, come like on Ayo. He's Ayo. creepy. If you see your wife, when she's <laughs> doing the phone, she's holding it here. <laughs> she's very creepy. <laughs> then she's very fast. Yeah. She types. I don't know where we even get that thing. She types. Then the next thing is not there. Yeah. Even the number is deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when, this is what I usually say. Scusa muzi ni arubai. One day you'll be caught. Utashiku. One day the message will enter when in the bathroom. Before the program and, began, I was telling him of a story of someone who was caught. Over two years, maybe even she was cheating. But eventually, in those two years, she was caught. I know of somebody who was at the same one, a house girl. Eh uh -huh. Yeah. He say uncle is a, there's a lady that comes, a man that comes here uh -huh. to greet uncle, to greet mama. <laughs> yeah, when you're gone. So it happens. Uh -huh. But with the one thing that happens at the moment you start flirting, yeah, it is going to the next level. Yes, like believe it or not, it's going to go to the next level. And flirting is very addictive. Very addictive. It is very addictive because it it pampers your your, your ego. pride and your yeah. ego. Uh -huh. It makes uh -huh. you feel good. So you'll get addicted to it every day, small, small, as you continue. By the time you're hooked up to it, you want that person physically. Yes, now. and you know what's part of this yeah. is. Even after you get them, they will not continue flirting with no. you. No. The wound. The wound. Yeah. And, and, and there's nothing like... Uh, because it a, was a trap. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing like a flirting joke. Mm -mm. Flirting is flirting. Yeah. And the moment you start it, mm -hmm. if you're not conscious to stop, yeah. this thing will drown you. That's right. You need to let it go. Uh -huh. Yes. Number four, is it? Huh? Yes, number four. Is when a friendship is that isn't mutual mm -hmm. on the couple mm -hmm. the friendship is not mutual yes. what do you mean friendship is not mutual i meant that the friendship is only i mean i'm uh, she's female and she's only friends with the husband not with the uh, matter of fact she doesn't like the wife yes. that's what i mean okay or the wife has a male friend that even does not like the husband and it's friendship what kind of friendship is that for me, I believe friendships in marriage should be mutual. How? I know your friends, even if they are female, and they are comfortable with me in your presence. There are some that are so audacious yeah. that women come and, you know, they will pretend... Woo. Eh? So we are to woo the wife. Yes, they woo, woo the wife. And they know what they are doing. The, what they will do is, yeah. they, are, they are friends with your husband mm -hmm. with the intention, yeah. but because they don't need to suspect, mm -hmm. they also put in their clique. Yes. For me, as long as you are, you are female, mm -hmm. stay away from married men. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like, ah, it has to be mutual. <laughs> yeah. Well, let it go. Mm -hmm. Because the, nowadays, Especially women, they have become so nice, yeah, so creepy, yeah, that they will pull mama so close. Mama will not know, say, Oh, yeah. that your friend Lena even sent me a lingerie. Uh -huh. 
She bought two. Uh -huh. One for you and one for herself. <laughs> Kambali. MZ Kambali. Uh. Matter of fact, just tell you, I don't want you to be close to this lady. Yeah. And Mama, the moment a woman is close to your husband, mm -hmm. she ceases being a good person. Yeah. She ceases being... Your eyes must open, your, e my, your ears must open, and your hair must turn. Yeah. Yes. You see why I'm saying that? Eh? Because as a couple, you will have what we call family friends. Okay? And, and now the family friends, that's why I'm saying, eh, if there is a family friend, it should be a friend that is mutual to both of you as a couple. Because I know people who have very healthy family friends. They yeah. are a couple, yes. Very healthy family friends, whereby now it becomes a small, they are friends, but now they become a, an extended family. Yeah, until these things that we go for parents, you know, pa fam parents' blessings, they go together. No, no. These no. things that the children have birthdays, they go together. The couple has a birthday, you know, you inv it becomes like a small family. Yeah, I want you to stay away. Okay. Stay away. My husband, you cannot be insecure like that. You, you told me you a story. You are telling the whole world no, that no, no, you don't no. have friends. You, no, I have friends. Yeah, well, the only male friends. What is all My this? friends. Mm. Not our friends. <laughs> <laughs> this my, you please talk to him. No. If you have healthy family friends, can you advise him that he is wait, not there? Wait. Mm? One day she told me of a friend <laughs> who overturned the system. Hey. Sir. <laughs> Let your friend be your friend. <laughs> Come uh, your family. Uh, <laughs> but we cannot assume the true fact that they are there. Nani wazuri. Nani? They are there. They are good family friends. They are there. But most of them nowadays with the world, the way things are going. Creep. Ah. So it's better you spend the two of you. You can remain the two of you if you can. But if you have friends that are good, treasure it. Friendships uh, are, be are becoming scarce now. Especially that like now. You have to meet, 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 meet all the time. Mm. Suspect those kind of meetings. Mm. That is a family meeting. You meet every other day. And, and then when you meet, this man is just complimenting your wife. Compliment. Say, Mama, the food was nice. Uh, the reception was <laughs> good. And uh, mother, I like your dress. Stay far from people's wives. <laughs> hey, hey, my compliment husband. once. <laughs> Don't compliment, compliment. <laughs> Yeah. It should not because that's how it starts. Yeah. For and me, if at all you have to have a friendship, anyone that is uncomfortable with the presence of your husband, suspect. Anyone that is uncomfortable with the presence of your wife and is of the opposite sex, suspect. Why is it that they don't like your wife now and they like you? You are one. If they don't like your wife, then they shouldn't like you also. Defend that woman, and that is how that one you should know they are creepy. If the friendships, they should be mutual. Yes. Yeah. All right. We are going for a short break, but this is the point. Please, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, uh -huh. make sure you do so. Juliet Bernard Akama. Rev B Akama. Mm, Sowa TV KE. Sowa TV KE. Uh -huh. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be back after the break. This thing called marriage. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is this thing called marriage. Every Tuesday, we <laughs> sit on this couch with my friend, my wife, my partner in Christ, and my partner in, in Christ to discuss this thing called marriage. We strongly believe that marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. Only you work it. We are on this subject of uh, a friend, uh, in, inappropriate friendship to a married person. Uh -huh. Inappropriate friendship. Uh -huh. Kuna friendship. There are some friendships that are not godly. They are matter of fact. Me, I, I'm still standing on my beginning point. Men, your wife should not have a male friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You're the only male friend. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. And women, your husband should not have uh, female friends. Only yeah. you are uh, like one bean in Gideon. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Point number five. Yes. Point number five inappropriate. Friendship to yes. a married person. Uh -huh. So number five is mm -hmm. hidden friendship. Uh -huh. You have a, a lady who is your friend, uh -huh. and you, have, you 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 don't want your wife to know. What are you hiding? You have a friend who is a man, mm -hmm. and you want your wife, your your husband to know. Mm -hmm. You are creepy, and there's something going on <laughs> that is inappropriate uh -huh. friendship. What are you hiding? Though normally uh -huh. women are insecure. Yeah. Normally, women are insecure beings. Uh, don't start with fingers here. No, 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 no. It's the uh, truth. Don't start Tell with your voices. wife that, you know, I have uh, so and so as a friend. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Lini? Yeah, you will answer questions. How did you get there? But if it is genuine. Friend, how? Mm -hmm. well, how will you do it genuine? No, you see, eh, this is what I'm, I'm saying. Eh? It depends. It depends with yourself as a woman. 
Okay? I gave an example I said, you came in the life of this man, you found him with a life. Okay? He had friends, female friends, he had those that are childhood friends that they've grown up with. Now that you've come as a wife in the life of this man, he should not make the other relationships all of them he had no, be wiped out. It is correct. And excuse me, that's wrong. For me, if you're secure enough as a woman and you know he had the opportunity to marry this friend before you, then now you should know that you're the one present. So it all depends with the security of a person. Because me, I can't come. I'd feel very bad if by my presence, by my insecurities, I break a long-time friendship that you have a childhood friendship with a certain lady who you may even at some point you look at as a little sister. Apple is about key, you are married and the, your husband confides in her. He, he, you know, the, this is what I believe. As a friendship, it can start as a friendship, yes. But the moment you get married, you can now things can over can change. Mm -hmm. Things can change because now uh, emotionally probably you have opened up. And this is a lady you have been talking to things. You never discuss about the issues of marriage. You never discuss marital issues. Now you're married. You are having discovering some things are happening in your marriage and which you don't like. Mm -hmm. Maybe your wife talked to you badly. Maybe um, there are things you don't like about your wife. And you run to this female friend and tell her, are you not getting emotional attach attachment mm -hmm. at that point? Mm -hmm. Me, when you get married as a man and you had a girl, a lady who was a friend, disconnect. It is a kid. Mm. And this time now you find, and, and you know, mostly women have friend, male friends because they know their husbands will not accept. They, 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 hide. they hide it. Yeah. When you're hiding mm. it, mm. it's creepy. Yeah. It is wrong. <laughs> inappropriate. Yeah, it's inappropriate. I said again, eh, when you're having a communication, okay, on the phone, and you are hiding it or deleting messages, or you have a phone. Nowadays, I hear men have. Phones that are being left in the car. <laughs> Zina zimu wa kwa gate. Zina wachwa kwa gari. Uko chini. Karibu ziekwe kwa bonnet. Eh? Kwa engine. Uko. Kuna zine zinafichwa uko. Kwa boots. Zina inuluwa uko kwa machuma kwa mataya. Because you only a car is for work. N I wanted to kuchocha you, you feel bad. <laughs> yeah? So the men have those secret phones. No, that's work. Then, they yeah. don't want to work to do 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 do. Yeah, no, like kuna, which work? Why are you switching off that phone? See, so that is, it doesn't just is a kuna, a kuna. Wana ume, alafu una save mtu soja. Kwa una mi save soja, ati soja, soja mgani. Those are some of the things now. If you have such kind of friendships that you have... Kwa una mi save ATM app. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm man. Equity, equity, security. Eh? Um, I'm safe in a funny way. Why now? Those are the what we're talking about in number five. Hidden friendships. Yes. Yes. What are you hiding? You yourself know it is funny. That's why now you can't allow your wife to be open with it. Whatever is open, I know all my husband's friends now. He know all my 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 friends, and they are up to a spoonful. They are not many. Yeah, and they are and not many. At the end of the day, when he tells me he's going to meet his friends, I absolutely have no challenge with him going to meet his his friends. But at the end of the day, that friend that you are beginning to hide, even if he's male, what is wrong with him? No, a male. How, how do I hide a male friend? Maybe Mama Nasema, this one is bad influence to you. Ah, it, get, it can't get there. It so can. Next, it gets there. Where? It gets there. Where you hide a male, a male? Yes. The one that you know, your wife has a problem with in terms of maybe she thinks the man is influencing you as her husband negatively. Then and I, I could introduce here. You know that story now. Yes. Introducing women, introducing you to fun, overspending, like that. The, 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 there's a way to handle those kind of men. But yeah. I'm talking about uh, opposite sex. Yeah. You have this friend who you have <laughs> saved as a equity uh, uh, ATM. <laughs> then when you check, I'm a, 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 a Mama Susie's pay bill. <laughs> so, you, wait, 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 how can a pay bill call? I'm a car wash. Car wash man. I'm a carpet cleaner. A carpet cleaner. <laughs> Everything squeezy. Lazing in a kwa uko kwa boot. Zile zina zimu kabambe ivi kind of a nice smartphone that you know. I've entered the house 
ah let's talk tomorrow kanazimwa kanawekwa kwa boot kanawekwa chini ya kiti kanawekwa kwa laptop bag where you know mama can never suspect so on the phone that is in the house hata inaekelewa kwa meza because it's clean it has no evidence that is what men are doing nowadays ah uh, ah uh, mm. uh-huh. hidden friendships hidden friendships eh. sir i give you if, if there's nothing to hide uh-huh. madam put your phone there and remove the password what about the phone one day i saw one. somebody somebody came to see me or showing me something uh-huh. and the phone the pattern even if how smart you are it goes like this like this like this like this like this it's like, it's like it's cutting meat sha, 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 sha. you can't even catch what, what, what the password is yeah and then when you finish they take their eye and then they do like this <laughs> hey gonna double password <laughs> the and then, only knows the eye and then the 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 the, the, the uh, WhatsApp, Achy, WhatsApp has its own password. Eh? Facebook is own Achy. password. Yes. Imagine. Ay, that's too much. And, and even there are some people. Eh? Uh-huh. There are some people who have gone to another level. They have, they, they have, and they have blocked their wives or part uh, or friends mm. on Facebook mm. and on Instagram. Mm. So your husband cannot see what you're doing. So when you go to their Facebook, mm. this, 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 this group is private. Yeah. Hey. So when you have a hidden friendship, yes. you have a, a friend, a male, a, a female friend, uh-huh. or a male friend, they don't want the husband to know yeah. that is a bad friendship. Friendship, yes. yes. Inappropriate. Uh-huh. Number six. Yeah. Number six is increased social media interactions. Uh-huh. I can get two picture you like. Uh-huh. I can get two picture. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can get picture. Ume, ume wa kwanza kushanga. Why have you not posted today? What? Yeah. There are people you find your you're always on the page of this lady. Facebook, Udam Pota, Instagram, everything you like, you like, you like. That is to show that thing is becoming inappropriate. Mm. You should not get there. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah, and, and as a couple, l- let me just ask, eh? If you don't like the photos of your wife, why are you liking the photos of another uh, female? No, no, that yeah. way I can tell men. Okay, if your wife posts something, you can't even comment and say happy birthday. Nikama hata umjui. And then you're no. busy wishing everyone on Facebook happy birthday. No, there are women who put very funny photos. Eh? Akuna no. mpeleke studio. Wapigwe picha mzuri kama zao wenye una like. Anaika picha ngina hapa akona ile nini? Ndio nasema. Akona ile ano. Suliona amevaa nini? Kenya amevaa na iku kufresha last birthday. Those wa- the way you are liking another woman make her to that there are women who can't even be told anything at there women, m- you tell them change come back will depend evil mm. come back depend evil there are women who, are, who, who you will find they have worn that kind of long sweater mm. they are so so i love china and funga leso and this is written ngo eh mpenzi zile zenye wazimandiko za coast divorce siku sitati divorce i kupi eh so you find what is happening is the thing is this why are you liking that man's chest? Mm-hmm. He has just posted his, 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 and you're the, like it, and you're married. Yes. A man, a woman has just posted a bam bam, and you're always, wow, mm-hmm. nice, yeah. look hot. What is it? Mm-hmm. That is just showing us there's something wrong. Most of the time, men are the ones who do this. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. Women also do it, but it's a habit of men. Mm-hmm. A woman just puts a, a walking on, fa- on, on Instagram. Wow, mm-hmm. you're very straight. Mm. What are those? Yeah. And the wife you've ever commented. You when, don't. When you discover that there's a lot of uh, social media interaction. Yeah. Yeah, when you discover that there's a lot of social media interaction with a certain specific person. And then now it goes to sliding of DMs. You know, I, 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 how, I, how come today you're quiet on, on Instagram like that? And this is the thing. When a woman realizes that you're giving them that attention, I'm telling you she will do anything to woo you. She will, do any, she will keep on posting for your sake. You know, to entertain you. That's what they do. Okay? Oh. Yeah, they will even go to crazy places, do, do uh, for, for, to, for what? What is it called, this one? Well, this know. one for f- fixing things, eh? The Photoshop, photoshopping mm-hmm. just to make sure they keep you hooked up to their social media because they've realized that they are catching your attention that way. As a man, okay, I've had women who even come and tell their wives, their husbands, uh, you shouldn't uh, like their so-and-so's photos. I don't have a problem because probably your husband is a pastor, an example, okay, or as a minister in church, a deacon in church. And then the photo she has liked, 
hizo wa mshirika Asha who's in the in a, in a swimsuit all the ties out yeah what are you liking there they say wow yeah you know <laughs> say wow because now it's usually now that one when you say wow you know you're in trouble <laughs> i once had a case here in church of a, a, a deacon who liked a photo of amshirika <laughs> deacon's wife came to see me and now they had fought in the bedroom <laughs> husband liked comes what are you liking here <laughs> you know it, it, it gave an issue because in my bedroom it let a case kwangu unaona So I was like you know that's insensitive. Kama ni mzuri usiangalie. Si ati usiangalie kwa macho hayana vazia. Lazima macho utaona. Let it pass. Give honor where honor is due. Sasa una like nini swali? This is like Lakini hata mimi ni kweli. Wa mama ukazi wanaume sana. Sasa hiyo shida ilikuwa. Ilikuwa ka kesi mahali na yeye mbaba na upuzi like. Ndio kesi angalia. This girl is inappropriately dressed instead of Deacon rebuking. Deacon has like like <laughs> 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 Women like Alejandro a lot. <laughs> These movies are killing marriages. <laughs> you find your wife is glued to Alejandro like this. Kifua. <laughs> Kifua. <laughs> And you <laughs> Another time husband has stomach. <laughs> Doesn't have chest. <laughs> yes, <He has> stomach. <laughs> uh, I was to You want to watch news? <laughs> Where can Netflix remove that thing? <laughs> your house. <laughs> no competition. <laughs> you find their when there is a lot of social media interactions mm. you're always following for me i believe um when you start doing that you lose some respect yes it just shows you're careless yeah just careless mm -hmm. and women will notice that mm -hmm. they do they, they will notice that mm. they will okay okay you mm. okay so you like when i put my time yes. okay i will increase them yeah then they will grow uh -huh. they will pump some hair there i'm telling you and at some time they will start following you back yeah sometimes wow inbox The next thing. Let's meet for coffee. Yes. Uh-huh. I would like to, to see you in person. Yeah. It has gone to the it, uh, it escalated. I'm telling so you. So when it is it is it is um interacting with someone on WhatsApp on Instagram yeah. on, on on it's a, a lot. Uh -huh. Then you need to stop. Yeah. You, you need, need to stop because uh -huh. where it's heading yeah. is not heading in a good place. No, no, no. no. Number seven. Uh -huh. Um sex talk. Mm -hmm. and discussions yes you talk about sex uh -huh. you should not talk about sex to somebody who's not your wife this one happens especially in the office setups by the way it's true mm. Kwanza ma police eh uh, ah uh, police are creepy Aye. yes why are you pointing fingers i was uh, one day somebody hit me we went to police station mm. and the woman is two women are sitting <laughs> there mm. And the guy was saying for me the writing for me or the abstract mm. was so vulgar with that woman and the woman was responding imagine really uh, you were shocked i was like That really and he said what That's it's not like the in an office, office. Mm. no at 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 the, at, at the whatever reception at mm. front office mm. I've, i've mentioned mostly the police most mm. of them are very very vulgar mm. they are very there's a lot of, and not only them mm. most people nowadays there's a lot of sexual as you said in the yeah. offices yeah You see why in the office I'm saying in the office because there's like a certain friendship or relationship looseness. you looseness no no so unapata uh, nowadays kwanza it's talked uh, mentioned as chumayadoshi when you hear chumayadoshi being discussed na uko kwa bank hall just know ile kitu naongelewa hapo si kitu safi because you see they've gotten that car friendship and all that now they've now graduated it to the wrong place if you can talk about sex with someone who is not your wife someone who is not your husband the day they will just approach you for that thing because you see something you've built in their mind uh -huh. and they want to see how it can be done with you and probably they're having marital issues that area uh -huh. ah 
You've opened the door. You've opened the door. Yeah. Most of the time, most of the time, couples do it. Yeah. Most of the time, couples do it. A lot of couples, as in people do it. Yeah. And you see the moment they're talking, one, you will flat. Yes. You, 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 you. There are even people that ask do, questions. Yeah, do it on phone. Mm. Say, let me see. What do you carry? Yeah. And it it it, it goes to another thing altogether. Yeah. That's all why I keep, I keep on telling parents, eh? You have little children. Don't allow them to take anyone's phone. Nowadays, these phones carry stuff. Yes. Yeah, they carry weird, weird stuff. That in a, in a manner, your, your child can borrow auntie's phone. It's not your phone. Your, yours is clean. Definitely. Because I'm totally not sure. Auntie, what the child will see will corrupt that child forever. Mm -hmm. So these phones nowadays have become dirty. Absolutely. Even a mature person, mm -hmm. a Christian, yeah. keeping images mm -hmm. that are um, not appropriate. Yeah. Really, mm -hmm. I, 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 you are defiant. Yeah. There are some images that should not be found in your phone. Yeah. Shouldn't. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes, we, we believe that you got it. We believe uh -huh. that something dropped in. Next week, we'll be teaching something else. Yeah. How to avoid those things. How to be cautious. Signs of inappropriate. But how do you come out of them mm. if you're already in? Mm. What do you need to do? So make sure you keep it here and we'll be able to help you no more. Mm -hmm. Before we go far, we, Mama has a question. Yes, I have a question. And uh, that question came in on one of uh, the lines, the church lines. Okay. Unfortunately, someone lost the wife. Okay. Like died All the right. wife died mm -hmm. and um the man was cheating okay, okay? follow the story yeah? so the man was was having an affair and he's suspicious that this woman that he was having an affair with killed the wife diabolically okay so even him now by after the wife has died is when now he's afraid could i be yes. next but now the question came in here is that um, the uh, strange woman is insisting that he wants to come for burial? Eh? Hey, hey. What should he do? Wow! Hey, hey. Send us your comment. He sent in that 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 message and was at the point of regret, at the point of um, the point of guilt. You know, he's feeling that he's convinced. Matter of fact, because I I responded to him. And you know, definitely advised him against the strange woman going. And well, when the kokota mchanga, no, no, I thought so, no, no. So me, I advised him against the strange woman going for the burial because even imagine the man is mourning and the strange woman is at the back there. It's uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Okay, and probably that day guilt will be hitting him left, right, and center because he's uh, convinced that this strange woman is the one who had a diabolic hand in the wife dying. So he asked, what, how should I handle this issue? And the strange woman, he said, I just want to be there for you. Okay? No. I just want to be there for you. I just want to be, you know, to stand in for you. What should the man do? Okay? Uh -huh. I advised him because the burial was that Saturday. Okay. Yes. What do you think? Uh -huh. What do you think should be done? Send uh -huh. us your text on 0727-438-728 uh -huh. or... 0705-899-608. Here on, on, on the YouTube channel, just uh -huh. down here, can you send us your comment? Uh -huh. Yes. You want what, to what, what do you have to say For to me, that man? No, 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 no. That woman should not come. That relationship should end. Yeah. The moment your, your, your inner guts are telling you she, was, she had a hand in it, yeah. that thing ends there. Matter of fact, the moment you are still communicating, even you as a person, mm -hmm. you're We're in trouble. Next. Yeah, and, and remember also they are children. Yeah. Okay. And probably she will, take, she will kill the children also. Yeah. And for him to have that gut feeling within himself, mm -hmm. it means maybe there were some two threats. Mm -hmm. You're getting it? Or there are things that he saw. Yeah. And and maybe there were those two threats of, and Tamaliza, because I want you. Yeah, you that, uh, even your wife can't stand in, yeah. in, can't, can't stand between us. Yeah, even your wife can't stand between us. You know, I'll just I'll do something. You know, there are those that when you know when she's talking like that, probably she's thinking you're not getting it. Mm -hmm. But now the man is saying, I'm convinced that this strange woman is the one that killed who? Killed my wife diabolically. That means the wife may probably was not sick. Something mm -hmm. just happened. She happened. There we know those things happen yes, spiritually. Yes, yes. Okay. So for me, the advice to the man is you are next 
oh your children are next mm -hmm. or that woman will wipe out the whole family and get what she wants because it could be she's on assignment yes yeah it could be she's on assignment and she has been sent to destroy your whole home she has already taken your wife that should be the end of that relationship look for a man of god and go pray get prayed over let your children be prayed over and let change your ways now your wife has already gone that is lesson enough mm -hmm. okay that yeah. is absolute lesson enough and this should be an eye opener to other men the things that you predispose your wife to when you have a strange woman in your life you know that strange woman now starts seeing your wife as a competitor yes as a competitor she wants your wife out of the way and out of the way means in any way okay and this is a lesson that open and i said i'll share it on this thing called marriage because see already that i advised and the burial was happened mm -hmm. and all that the burial was last saturday okay but i said i'll bring it on board because for men to see the kind of predisposition they put their wives in when they entertain these other women these women carry diabolism these women carry their witches okay and their intention is to break completely this home. this home yeah that is a woman who died innocently has left the children and nothing can be put a hand to to what really really yeah. happened yeah yeah very important those kind of things you keep off mm -hmm. and when you do that definitely you'll be safe this is a truth this is a truth i want to give this man to these two men leave the issue of cheating mm -hmm. just let it go what you're looking for your wife can give it to you yeah just let it go mm -hmm. and then you find that you don't have to go through all this drama we hope you have been blessed. And before we close the program tonight, we want to tell you we are having our PhD night. That's right. It's going to be a night of fire, night of grace. It's going to be a night where we're going to break the snare. In a, in a few, we bring you a clip of it. But we want to invite everybody from everywhere. Mm. You, you feel that your family is bound. People in your family are bound. You're facing some things and you feel there's a bondage. You are going to have a wonderful time of prayer, mm -hmm. have a, have a time of prophecy, de uh, 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 deliverance. God is really going to move in this Kesha. It will be on when? On 28th? On 28th. Of October. Of this month of October. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karibu sana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I usually tell people that Kesha is the appropriate time yes. for everything that we rush to do on Sunday, on, Sunday on Wednesday when we are looking at our watches. Yes. That night we'll have prophetic, we'll have healing, we'll have deliverance, and it will be all the way from 9 till 5 a.m. Imagine. You can't miss it. That sleep that wants you to sleep and you do, doesn't want you to break that snare is itakukosea sana. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're here on the 28th of October at the Lord City from 9 p.m., for the phd night make sure you don't miss yes. please come 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 yeah. we can't wait to have you here at the lord city we can't be we can't help to we yeah. can't miss uh -huh. you know you can't miss we'll be so grateful we'll be so happy to see you mm -hmm. every tuesday we are excited to and come you have way. forgotten what marriage banquet yes 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 <laughs> before we say adios yeah. on the 26th of november yeah. we are having marriage banquet yeah my wife and i will be up we'll be celebrating our many years 16th 16th year anniversary uh, imagine okay you see kuntaku na kesi na mambo ya dates it is well we watch out so unaniulizaje on which year we watch out so we'll be having marriage banquet now this banquet is how it's going to be the husband that was calling the the wife to ask Imagine. Don't worry. <laughs> That's how men are. Yeah. So we are having a marriage banquet. Yeah. It's going to be a very special Saturday mm -hmm. where we'll be having all the married couples. Yes. You want to come. Mm -hmm. You want to talk to you pray with you yes want to have a fellowship with you on a saturday it's going to be a marriage banquet please come we'll tell you more details mm -hmm. uh what is going to happen yeah uh, are there charges yes is yeah. there a dress code yes. yes so it's going to be us and you and it will be a meet and greet yes for all the people that love this thing called marriage and watch us on Soa TV and all our social media handles. Yeah. And admire this couple. And he said, I would like to yeah, meet them. They just pray for us. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's tell you this today. Uh -huh. 
what we do here is not a scam. No. It is not prearranged. No. We are living a good marriage journey. Yeah. So we like also you to have one. It's and not this is chasing the, clouds. No. Uh -huh. And this is the thing. We uh -huh. want you also to have a good marriage. Yes. So we want you to come. Mm -hmm. Please, Mama, start talking to that man very well. Nicely. Sir, stop budgeting for coming. Nicely. It's going to be from two mm -hmm. all the way to six. Mm -hmm. So there will be a wonderful time. But yes. in case of anything, uh -huh. we'll let you know. Keep the dates. Yeah. 26th of November. Yes. Marriage banquet. Marriage banquet it is. Make sure you come. Yes. We'd love to meet you also. And as we conclude, uh -huh. we want to let you know that marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. If only you work it. Keep watching SOA TV. Touching lives. With the power of love. Of love. God bless you. Shalom. Bye. Every leprosy. I saw myself in town. Yes. I had the name Mary. It's my name. The second name I use is Kadikwa. Yes. What's the name? Kadikwa. Kadikwa. I'm hearing Kilonzo. Yes. My Mary father. Kadikwa Kilonzo. Yes. That's your name. Yeah. My name is Evan B. Akama. Are you in a place and you feel that you're snare? I want to invite you for our PhD night, which is tagged. The snare is broken. Oh, I'm a Jassi. Goja! Puta! Eh? Nakucha! It's going to be a night whereby those people who are in a place they want to break for. People are saying, I have been in bondage, I have been limited, maritally, financially, in every sphere of my life. You're trusting God for to break forth. I want to decree to you that this PSD on the 28th of this month of October, it's an all-night Kesha where we'll be breaking the snares. It will be a time of intense prayer. Shatter, kuta, kata. Every limitation. Scatter. Scatter. Kapakalate. It will be a time of deep word of God. Every battle plan organized against you, any evil programming in the realm of the spirit, against your life, your finances, against your family and your health, it is terminated. And then, we'll be entering into the chapters of your life. We'll be perusing the pages of your life through the mystery of the prophet. I am seeing myself somewhere and I'm seeing there's a house here kuna mchanga mchanga hivi hapo na gate. Yes sir. Ukiingia kwa gate hivi on the left, on the right. On the left. Yes sir. There's like a stone. People used to sit on. There was a stone. Stone. Stone, stone Maui. Yes sir, yes sir. On the left. Yes sir. This stone, after that stone I'm seeing something like a uh, crops. Then I'm seeing a fence. Yes sir. Is that yes, how the village is? Yes sir. And by the power of God the power that breaks the yoke will be breaking every snare. It is be denied. The snare is broken here at the Lord City Sound of Abana Church, where Jesus lives. I'm telling you, it will start exactly at 9 p.m. in the night. Please do me a favor. Don't come alone. Carry your sister. Carry your mom. Carry your brother. Carry your friend. Anyone that you feel and you've had, they're in bondage and they want the snare to be broken. They must be in this night. See you then. God bless you. When I see your face, I will prophesy and life shall be better for you. I remove every spirit that brings battle. You will lost that things and they die.